will be sharing with you this card I um, made with the new dies Lisa brought out this week for her um, special week at Create and Craft as pick of the week. She will be bringing out a lot of new dies and a few stamps, those sentiment stamps. This card can stand on its own. I hope you can see this like this. And um, I won't be using any inks this time. So it's really clean and simple. I'm just going to head off and start by showing you what I am using. I will be using this A5 paper and the size is 21 by well almost 15 I think in inches that is um, a bit more than a bit less than six inches and 8.2 inches that's the base card I just folded it in half so I get this base card um, the next part is this back piece that I will be using and for the next piece I used the embossing folder and I will show you this oh. One moment. This is a great 3D embossing folder. Just putting my phone away. Um, I hope it doesn't reflect too much. Yeah. This is in the garden, six by six inches. So that's a beautiful 3D folder. They emboss really, really deep. So I already cut a piece out and embossed it. Um, if you want to um, make the flowers and the butterflies pop out a bit more, you can also use inks. But I don't want to use any inks today. So I'm leaving it like this. And let me show you the size of the card. This one is 14.8 by 10.4. This is the back card. And for this one, it's just a little bit smaller. I use the 14 centimeters by 10. So it gives that edge from the background paper. So I will be sticking that on here and I'm going to do that directly so I just want to sh uh, be sure to make sure that it has a little edge on the bottom here so I'm going to lay it on here like this turn it around and give it a little pencil stripe so I know I have to only do this area with or tape, double-sided tape you can use or just use your glue. Like this. Going to put the cap on. So I'll be making sure that I have this card on the right side like this and I'm not going to measure it up here on the bottom so I think it's okay just removing the extra paint make sure it is straight let me see yeah it's straight the extra paint, I mean the glue. Um, later on, if there's any glue on here, then I will be removing this with um, 
this eraser. It's really cool because if you got some paint residue on anything, you can rub it away. But I'm going to have to let it dry. And this one, I will be sticking that on with my double-sided tape. So I'm going to turn it over and just add some double-sided tape so it will give just a bit of extra dimension. It creates a bit of a 3D effect. I think, like this, and I'm going to cut this up in half to make sure I have something in the back also. And like this, I'm going to take off the, these pieces and then I will be sticking that on that base card I hope that it's straight let me see, yes okay, that's quick we got the base card. So the next thing is I will be adding some sentiments and I will be using these. Uh, I used a lot of colors and that's also what I did. I made the shading with these beautiful dyes, the happy and smile frame sentiments. So I'm going to show you which one I used. I used the happy and it has three frames and it has the outside frame that matches this one that is this piece oh. happy That is this piece, but I only used this because I cut out these little pieces from the frame. So I could use it without the frame. And then I used this one. This one cuts it out with a frame on its own, but I also cut the frame off these letters, I cut them free so it will fit on here. These are really cool and the smile one, let me show you, the smile one works exactly the same, you got the, the back piece, that's the dark, this, uh, the black one, that's like this and then you got the front piece the happy and this one is a smile that's a bit smaller and it has its own frame so you can stack it and also use it like this or you can use it in a card so let me put that aside yes Okay, now I'm going to stick these on top of each other. And let's see, where's my little bottle? Yes. You could also, if you don't want to, to glue this, you can uh, use some adhesive double-sided tape uh, paper and uh, stick that on a piece of paper and then cut it out so you just have to remove uh, the tape to stick it on the back side 
from the adhesive paper to stick it on each other. But I'm using the glue. I didn't use the adhesive ta uh, paper now. Totally forgot, I got to say. So, like this. And then I will stick it on here. And that is already great. I love them. These are really cool. So this one will be over there. And so the next one, what I used was the birthday one from the Build a Sentiment Collection occasions. <coughs> and this one comes with, let me take this off. Let's see if I can, yeah. This one comes with beautiful big stamps. They seem a bit smaller on the picture, but they are bigger. And they really, really are amazing. And they come with extra occasions like uh, happy birthday, happy birthday wishes, uh, wishing you a happy and Easter on your kisses, birthday, best anniversary, Mother's Day, Father's Day. And you could also stamp this and leave this out so you got uh, a father or mother, best father or best mother. That could be also. And they come with the dies. These are big dies. They fit the big words. And there are two, four, five, six, seven dies with it. They match. They come in a. Uh, they are stick to each other. So I'm just going to show you for a moment how that works. Um, I'm putting my glasses on because. I don't want the little pieces to jump away. Um, one moment, I will show you. I'm going to take my cloth, my uh, my craft cloth. <laughs> and then what I will do, first I will cut off this one, snip it off. And then you have to snip off these pieces. This is a jewelry cutter. And because uh, they can jump away, that's why I'm wearing my uh, reading glasses. And then I will point it in my cloth so they don't jump anywhere. It picks it up. So you don't have the pieces everywhere laying around and they don't jump up. And then that's it. Let me put these way this one so if you you have to uh, you have to snip them off to use them but that's the way how it works when you want to snip them off okay so i'm just going to put these away and i already stamped this one it's the birthday and i already cut it out you can see it fits perfectly and then you get a beautiful outer edge let me put them away so these two sentiments I'm going to use happy birthday let me see I don't think I will go for straight and crooked today just let me see Happy birthday. I think it will be like this. So that's this part. So the next part is I used another embossing folder, and that is this one the variegated leaf. It's really, really beautiful, and it comes with dies. The dies they cut these uh, leaves out so at first you cut out the leaves and then you will place the leaves oh let me turn it around in here just emboss it and then you get this 
at these beautiful leaves. And you can use them on the embossing folder, but you can also use them individually on a card or anything. So I'm going to use these today. Just going to see which ones I will be using in a moment because I will add, want to add some flowers, of course. And the flowers, these are also from the new release, that are these craft dies, the summer blooms. It contains 12 dies. And uh, I already cut some out, but I'm going to show you the dies. Cut them in a second, just for one moment. So it has 12 dies, and they all come in just as uh, the words I just showed you. You have to snip them loose. So I already did that, of course. The only thing, one I didn't snip loose was this one. I'm going to keep them together. And this one was in the center of one of the others. So this, I'm going to turn them around. So these are the 12 dies. And they make these beautiful blooms. These are really incredible. I adore them. I'm going to stick them back in my bag because I also prepared that with the lovely colors. And let me whoop, just... Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I cut a lot of them. And then I will be creating a flower here. And I can use the bigger ones. I think that one will do for today. And let's see what I will be using in between. So I'm just going to stack it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, let's see what I will be using. I think that's nice. And I want to give them just a bit extra. You can use them like this, but I want to give them just a bit extra. So I'm going to get my foam pad, lay them on there. And... Um, there are crafting tools with a uh, this round bulb on it. Uh, I don't <laughs> exactly know how to call it. So I'm just going to twirl around over the leaves like this. So I'm going to curl it up a bit. So you get this. I'm going to do that with all of them. We'll make sure the paper curls a bit like this. And also for these, you can see, you just have to do the middle. Like this. And that is done. So I think I first will stick on the flower with some 3D foam tape. And let me see, yes. Like this. This one comes over here. And then... This one, that one I will stick on there with the glue. I'm using different mediums to stick it on. Make sure in the middle. And this piece. You can see the hairy things coming <laughs> out behind of the bloom. We call it the hairy flower. As a DT team, it was just a funny thing because 
these look like hairs. Or even like the sea. Sea eagle? No. I don't know how they call it in English. I'm sorry. The animal with the sticky things that lives in the sea. <laughs> I don't know. Just let me stick that one also. I'm just going to push it a bit to make sure it will stick on there. And then meanwhile we'll do this. Yeah, that's better. Then the next thing is I want to add the leaves. I'm going to use the smaller one. And I only did this. I folded it a bit. See? Yes, that's good. So now I'm going to glue them on. Oh, that's a bit too much. So I'm going to take a bit for this one. Just pressing it a bit down. I'm using my shear to press this one. So I make sure it will stick. Like this. Yeah, that's good. And you can see you can add a lot of flowers or you can only add one with the example I made. <coughs> I used two flowers. And now I am using only one. I'm going to stick down the happy. Let's see, I'm going to do that like this. So this area where my fingers are doesn't need any glue. So I don't put too much glue on there. And if it's necessary, I can also add some glue later on. So, let me hold it for a moment, so I'm sure it will stick on there. And then, I think, let me see where I will do the birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, that I will be using... The 3D tape, the foam tape, to stick this on. I love a bit of extra domi dimension, create, creating a bit of extra dimension. Stomp you hear that it was the cat. <laughs> it's jumping off the couch. So just going to take off these pieces. Oh. Let me see. Is it straight? Yes, it's straight. So, it's almost done. I'm going to let me take this one. Just for a moment, just getting a few of my. Um, wow, so terrible. I don't, I'm forgetting the name. <coughs> the sparkles. Well, I'm 
going to be using these well a few of these because i want to bring in just a little bit of a smart sparkle and i'm going to use the pickup tool to pick up my gem gems i'm going to use the gems and i think i will be adding a few over here um, I always like to add some gems because this is a really let me see what is better I think they have to be closer to each other just over here because I'm not adding any uh, any ink but I think I have to give it a bit of a bedazzle just a really really small touch and I think that's okay let me put away the other gems like this and let me see, yes, I'm going to add a little bit of glue over here, just let me turn it over, just behind there was a little spot that could use some extra glue. Just for a moment and then it will stick yes um, this part of the glue will be later on you don't see it uh, later on because the glue dries uh, clear so that is no problem just going to let that sit like this so I think this is the card yeah so it can stand up and this is the card I made as an example. I hope you can see them both here. And they fit in a A5 envelope. It's a bit bigger. Uh, the envelope is a bit bigger, but uh, that will be fine. So you can also make sure the envelope will be uh, decorated. And you can use... That's a fun thing. I'm just going to show you for... Yeah one moment i'm just going to show you if you want to decorate the envelope just use a um, cut out piece from the die i use the front piece and then i will be using a brush let me see yes i'm going to pick the yeah picked raspberry that's nice just going to use the brush Put this one over here, hold it down with my fingers, and that's enough. And it's also nice to create a matching or almost matching envelope. Smile, that's always great to see something nice on an envelope. It's a art, uh, art mail. That's so cute. So I'm just going to go over it with my brush. You can use any color. You can use more colors. But I'm just going to show you what you can do with it. Well, that's nice, isn't it? And if you want to finish that, you can also stick a flower on there. Smile. I'm just going to do this. And if you stick it down... Really nice, let me do it like this, because if I add some glue, I'm going to add a bit more, put it on my finger and just rub it up like this. Or you can, what also, you, you can also um, put, well, cut these flowers out um, with the adhesive. The double sided adhesive tape and then you will be able 
to where is it the yellow one yeah then you will be able to stick them on the envelope that's also a great idea you don't have to use any glue well like this so you think so you can see the idea about um, creating the envelope and I think you could also use this as a mask <laughs> almost done it's a bit too much that uh, if you use the well the oxide ink it will blend a bit more and then if I use the squeeze mask, squeeze lemonade let me see take another brush the squeeze lemonade like this so these dyes are really versatile I think that's cute too so you got a lot of ideas how you can create a card well okay the envelope I did use some ink on but on the card I didn't use any ink except to stamp the sentiment but that is inevitable so I think they are cute I am have to add some glitter here also and a happy birthday but you get the idea and um, I hope you enjoyed it next time I will be there again with another live video on crafting with Lisa Horton and uh, I think in meanwhile I will see some beautiful samples from you with the dyes and embossing folders and if you uh, create anything uh, after my video and my idea with these cards just tag me in uh, your picture and I can see what you've made so that will be very cool thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye